There are different challenges to praying, um, depending on which part of the world you live in or which part of the world you're staying in at that moment. I noticed this uh, a lot because I've travelled a lot, not recently, but I've travelled a lot. Alhamdulillah. Um, today, it's a bit cold in England and um, my heating's not working. <laughs> and at this time of year, I've been using the heating all the time. Like I just turn it off at night for a few hours. Um, now I need to prepare to pray. And if you don't know about our prayers in Islam, we have to like um, do a ablution, like a specific wash before we start praying. Um, and I've got so many like layers on. I have I have to like work out how I'm going to actually do this. It's kind of like a challenge to. Um, <laughs> to kind of like, mm, it's like a little mental block to think like, oh, I'm going to need to take off these kind of like extra coats and stuff so that I can do my uh, preparation for prayer. <laughs> and it's prayer time now. The alert went off 10 minutes ago, but I didn't hear it. So then I was horrified to think, oh, am I not focusing on my prayers? So <laughs> I'm going to do my prayer, inshallah. So I decided to talk about this briefly before I pray. Astaghfirullah. Um... I have a coat which I'm wearing and it's actually heated. Heated coat. Can you imagine? They've invented these things. And I bought that a few weeks ago, not thinking that I was going to need to use it inside the house. <laughs> so um, while my heating's not working, it's pretty cold in my house. When I feel cold, I can't think clearly. So I've piled on all these extra layers. Now I'm going to, inshallah, um, <laughs> make a make the mental decision to um to prepare for the prayer and I thought it might be interesting uh, for some of you who haven't been to a cold colder country colder part of the world um to think about like these different kind of challenges we get depending on so many factors so let's keep strong inshallah and maintain our prayers <laughs>